Okay, guys. Sorry. Right. Welcome back. We're just in the mood. It's not responding. You have to show it to the people again. It's just smart or something. It's not responding. Okay. We don't care about your job update. Right? Okay. You guys, you guys made the smart board not respond. Come on. That wasn't us. We're just too smart for one. <laughs> so it's not responding down there. I know. I see it. It's my Oh, you guys. It won't let me escape. This computer's frozen. Oh, you guys. You guys' little drumming. I hate it. You need to become famous on YouTube. He's famous. I'm not just subscribers. On the top video, he has a lot of views and one like. You bet. I have. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Crazy. I, I seen your I seen your one video you were like on a skateboard or something and you were like trying to jump over this chain. Like, that, did that really look like a skateboard to you? Or a bike heavy was. Yes. It's been a loss of You like ran into it. I heard some like, views. Yeah. How many likes do you like five or something? This is not good. Yeah. That's pretty bad. That's a really bad average. I have no idea. Better than you. Do you have some more views? Yeah. Okay. Like I made the song down the banana, like just try to talk away. And Charlie bit me, I made that. Yeah. Huh. It's weird. Um, so I'm pretty sure I have. No way. That's like a hundred million views. I made all the Fred videos. Be dead. I still got more views. No, no, no one does your credits. Yes. Yeah. I created Nine Cat. Hey, Nine Cat's cool. Let's see. One up. I'm trying to fix this computer because you three guys three were up there three. like two out of three people don't know what Nine Cat is. You know. <laughs> You're that one out of three. I think we're. F I'm slowly fixing it. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, Twelve. Plus ten. Oh no! I, I was just. Stopped. I think it's fixed. Might not be. It might yes. be a dollar bill stuck to a dollar bill somewhere. Today. <laughs> yeah, it's not a lot of lunch break. Let's get a Burger King. I'll buy some Burger King if we're allowed to go. So it's Chipotle. Okay. Chipotle is too expensive. We'll be able to afford it. Like six bucks for it's an eight. I think it's fixed now. So get two more bucks. Eh. What? Okay. Yeah. Two more bucks. So that's eight dollars a person. Twenty-four dollars plus tax. Plus tax. That's a small tax. Just need like four more dollars there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The pen's not working. It's a small tax. So it's not huge. You get fifty cents. It's about a bit of plus the drinks. Sorry guys for this being a pain. That you know what? I don't know. We don't know anywhere. Hey. <laughs> Note to self, do not let Brandon and Connor beatbox on Connor was the oh, Beatbox on the board, touching it so we can. Okay, boy, well, you know what? A lot of cables. <laughs> I think it works. We're, we're back in business, guys. Well, you know what? I just missed break. Whoa. Here, John. <laughs> what? Okay. While we while this um, non-functional smartphone gets fixed. Okay. 
They're not architecture, right guys? You know that. You guys know why networking is a, networking is important, right? Come on. Connor, if you want, you can write this down. It allows but, you to communicate with outside people. Yes, it allows you to communicate. Good job. Just put networking is important, period, right? Remember? Yeah. I think you got it. You know, network, network is important, period. Yep. Good. Okay. Period. So let's talk about. You guys know the basics of networking, right? You got your computers linked. They all go back to what? A client. Uh. They all go back. You guys ready to see the answer? The internet. Switch. They all go back to the switch, right? Yep. Okay. You guys know the devices that make up a network? Oh, wow. <laughs> we can go over these. Holy cow. You have your client. You have your server. Does anybody know what this thing's for? That is to uh, test your cables. To test your networking cable after you make the networking cable, right? And uh, the green light on the small one, as long as it's all green, your cable's good. Okay. You must. You're a genius. I think <laughs> I need to give you a tip. Like, you're like, tips accepted? So, this is a Cat5 e tape cable, right guys? Yeah. Okay. Hope I'm not covering the board too much. You have two ends. You plug one in into the, net, the cable tester, right? Make sure it snaps. Did you hear that snap? Mm -hmm. Take the other end, plug it into here, like that. And then you press power on. And these will light up. See that? Anybody know how this works? Brian does. He's a genius. Now, if you look at it, it's skipping. I saw it. You can, tell, you can tell that there's a problem with 3 and 6. That means those, those, those cables in there, 3 and 6, are bad. And you know why they're bad? Because whoever wired the cable did it wrong. So you can see right there, right? You can tell that you have a bad cable. Okay? How does this work? Do you guys know? How does this, how is this network it's, work? It's sending from there. Well, what is it sending? Because this right here has no power to it. It's yeah. sending a power to through each of those cables, a yeah. positive and negative, to light up that LED. That's basically what it's doing. And if you notice on it, it says token ring. Have you guys heard of token ring? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that. Token ring is like basically only used in this, basically the network tester. This is a network tester. You can obviously tell, Connor, is this a good cable? Mm, oh, look, it's, it's saying bad right there. Oh, yeah, it's bad. See? Are all those lighting up? Whoa, nope. Three, that one right there, three and six, right? Yeah, it's all lighting up. So whoever wired this cable did a, did a horrible job. So this is what a network, this is what a cable tester is. You guys will be using this later on when you wire cat cables, which you probably are like, oh my god, that sounds like hell. It's actually kind of simple. You just got to know the order of the cable you put it in. Okay? So the devices that make up a network. Don't switch it yet. I'm not going to switch it yet. What's that thing right there? Um, no, no. A switch. A switch? What's these ports right there? To connect two other switches. Good job. Do you guys know what those ports are called? Oh, hold on. Told us this. Um, you guys are good at reading that. There's your answer. Trunk connectors? Trunk connectors. So that's what those, are, those main ports on the switch are called. And these right here... Or basically, how, do, you, do you guys know how many ports that is? 48. 48. Then you have your 48 Ethernet ports. Where do those go? You connect your what to them? Your clients, right? Right. You, that's, that's is where you connect your clients at, okay? Into that switch, which basically, anybody know what a switch really does?
Connor, what's the squid? Squid is actually only 24. 24. Well, I'll be damned. Yeah, you're right. There's 24. That's a green screen now. I don't know. Yeah, this 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 smart board is not functional or something. But um. That's what Switch basically does, right? Expands the network, right? Mm -hmm. You guys have that written down? Good. Clients. What would what would be your top clients? If anybody actually read through the list, you'd probably laugh a little bit at the last one. Toaster. Toaster. I mean, toasters nowadays connect to the internet. You're probably like, no, they don't. Well, I bet if you look at the $2,000 toasters that have, you know, monitors put in them, yeah, you can go on YouTube. When you're cooking, you're toast. How? It connects to a network, right? You have your servers, right? Anybody know what a domain controller is? The school uses one. Domain controller. Anybody know? Connor, do you think you know what that is? Or are you probably like professional only? Professional only. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A domain controller. Who has to log in when they get on their computer? Well, you notice how you can log in on any computer, right? Use that same account? That's because you go in here, you set that computer to use a domain. And you have something, you have something called a server, which has a domain controller, which basically that's where you add all your users at. You can monitor security, like say only certain people, like say you only want staff going to this, this file, but kids cannot go to this. You can put groups, all that kind of stuff. Domain controller, we can get into this more specific. But that's basically, that's your network login, okay? And that, and then, if you guys know Nate, he left a laptop sitting RDP'd into the Windows server, and you can see the Active Directory. You can see all the, everybody's username and everything, and that's where you edit it at. Basically, you have something called the Active Directory. Do you guys know what an Active Directory is? It's the, it's the list of users on the network. It's basically managing those users, putting them to the groups, setting what they can access, that kind of stuff. Make sense? So say I want Connor, he's the, me and him are the big boss, we can access anything we want on a network, I'm going to set ourselves as full control over the entire network in that domain controller. Me and him log in on any computer, we have full access to anything. Right, Connor? Yeah. So that's how it goes. Yeah, right. So if you wanted to be a hacker, when um, Nate was logged in, I'll get to you, right. when Nate was already peed into that Windows server, you just go over there and, add, and go down to 14 chill, right? and set yourself as an administrator group and you'd have it all. Make sense? Mm -hmm. You got, that's, that's basically what a domain controller is. What's RPD? Remote desktop protocol. We'll get into that later. Brandon? Um, do you know if we're supposed to go down there? Back down there? Uh, she said that she'll call like. Yes, call she will like, um, so come get us. Yeah. Okay? So that's what a domain controller is. Okay? Make sense, guys? Anybody know what DHCP is? You, if you've ever heard about me, if you've seen my IP address video, I explain it in there because DHCP is awesome. You want to know why? Who wants to sit down at every computer in this building and manually configure it to the network? Mommy. I don't think you do. How many computers do you think is in this building? Uh, over 120. Over 100? 128. That's it. 128. Think. You have like 20 computers in like each room, okay? Not each room. Well, most rooms, lab. okay? You have labs, you have our room. You want to sit down and put in an IP address, the DNS servers, the default gateway. So that's what DHCP, DHCP does. I'll get to it. Do you guys want, do you guys want to go to each of those computers and type that stuff into each one? That will take you how many hours, Connor? Four hours. It'll take you. No. It'll take you about 10 minutes per computer to set up. Calculate that. 10 times 128. What would that be? Brennan, if you have a calculator, you can, you can jump on the ball. Oh, you can do it all in your brain? Yeah. Okay. Well, so what DHCP does is it's basically, it automatically assigns everything and does everything. Just like the, the main controller, who wants to go to each computer and um, set up user account and stuff? When you can just manage it all back in a server. 1,280 minutes. Yeah, that's too, that's too much work, huh? 
That's too much. That is just bull crap, right? DHCP, basically, you can put automatic configuration for network connected devices. What does DHCP stand for? Dynamic Host Control Protocol. Okay? So you'll hear me saying a lot about that, okay? We'll get into that more. If I know what DNS is, Dynamic Network Dyna Server. <coughs> Domain Name Server, oh, yeah, or Service. Name. They say it transfers those domains into IP addresses. Who wants to remember an IP address for anything? Not me. I, I would like to do one just to try it. Just to do it, but I'm not going to. Well, maybe your, maybe your IP address is on like a LAN server, of course. 6699470, that was my old server. See, I know that by heart. But um, a domain, basically, it puts a name on there instead of um, having to um, type in IP addresses. Domain name server, basically, that's, it, has, it keeps a record of all that. Now, I'll get into that more, okay? Toasters, everybody knows what a toaster is, right? Clients. clients cl a client is anything that connects to a network, right? Basically, right? A server can be a client. Now, a, a, you, you're like, can a client be a server? Yeah, we'll get into that later, okay? How can, a cl how can your computer be a server? It can accept different data from other, like, well, a server is basically a computer that shares a service or shares something, basically. Like, if I upload a video to YouTube, my computer is being a server because it's sending a file to a YouTube com computer. You get me? Okay. Routers. Those are basically like switches, except they have DHCP and DNS on them. Okay? And basically, routers, um, I don't know many people that have a big 48 port switch at their house for the home network. I would. But um, not your normal person. I mean, your normal person goes out, Connor. He gets Roadrunner. He wants he wants 50 meg down, 20 up because he's kick ass. Okay, you're gonna have to explain that to me. I will, I will. But I'm just I'm putting examples here. He's Roadrunner sends him a modem and a router. He'll he'll plug that router into the modem so he has himself four computers. And then he can connect to Wi-Fi depending on his DHCP range, how many how many you know stuff he can have wirelessly connected to it like laptops, that kind of shit. But he's most people are not gonna have big Cisco switches and stuff sitting at their house. I don't think they are. Because they don't know network then that well, do they? Do you have a... When you had internet, did you have a big no. switch? I've seen one before. I would. But, you know, that's basically what a router is. Okay? We'll get into that more. A switch, we all know what that does. Expands the network, right? Mm -hmm. Modem. What does a modem do? Same thing as switch, but... <coughs> You guys have notes? I thought you guys had this right now. From the notepads. They bring notepads. You don't have it? I don't know what a modem is. Come on, man. You guys need to be note takers. A modem. You have phone line, cable line, fiber line, right? Well, you can't plug a fiber, you can't plug a cable line into your computer. That data has to be transferred from analog into digital, which a modem. A modem transfers that phone, that big hunk and phone cable into Ethernet data we can use on the LAN network, right? Right. Okay. So you guys know what a modem does, right? Basically, right? So it's like it transfers analog to digital. Yeah. Basically, a modem is usually used for DSL, cable, fiber optic. Because do most ISPs just run an Ethernet cable straight to your house? No, you don't see Ethernet cables going down the the lines, do you? No. You don't see these things going down the lines. So that's how that works. You have DSLAM. That's basically your ISP's DHCP server. Okay? Brandon. Sorry. We're talking about DSLAM. We're a slam dunk? Yeah, that's what I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, what's a D slam? Mm -hmm. Well, I know your Connor. modem connects to it. Wow, you're smart, Connor. Brandon, are you, are you, are you gonna make a comeback at him? Huh? Uh, I might. <coughs> I might. Hold on a second. 
Fuck it. Your, your modem connects DHCP. To it. To it. Good. Awesome. You guys, you guys are over there poking each other. You guys. <laughs> hey, put those fists down. Okay. Good job. Then you have cat cables. <laughs> guys, calm down. <laughs> What's a cat cable? Before I throw it at you guys, oh, and make you catch it. Who's gonna catch this? Right. Oh! <laughs> you didn't know it didn't feel over my head. <laughs> well, I was expecting somebody to catch it. What? Well, it just looks like I climb on table. And <laughs> What's it? What's a cat cable? Um, I think it's an Ethernet cable. You're correct. Good job. And Brandon, what's a cat cable do? It's used for transferring network data. Awesome! I am. What's an ISP connection? Um, it's your ISP to. Uh, it is your network connect. It's your your network connected to the outside world, right? Yeah. I mean. I don't think we just want to be able to sit here and communicate just to Connor. <laughs> you know, Connor be on the laptop down at Mrs. Orr's. Yeah, Skype sometime. Yeah, Connor, Connor be down at Mrs. Orr's and we'd be right here. Sure, we can try and everything over, over land. But I think we want to talk to our friend that lives clear in California right now. That's how it does. Connection to the outside world, right? That's what an ISP connection is. You guys basically writing this down? Or Brandon, he's just sitting there, you know, he's headbanging. <laughs> he's doing that thing. <laughs> The, those are the devices that make up a network. You guys got all those written down? Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have them? Give us some skin, man. Yeah. Yeah. I don't physically mean <laughs> skin. rub your skin off and give it to me. <laughs> One is, yeah. Okay. Okay. Skype. Give us a picture of me right there. This person. You guys know that one like we got? Yeah. He gave it to us. Who is that? That's a friend I know. He lives in North Dakota. So, what does networking, networking provide? Anybody know what this is? Skype. Skype. It's a Skype video call, right? So, say you want to talk to that guy in North Dakota, you can do it via video call, right? Good question. How long have you had a mustache? Since I was 13 and hit puberty. <laughs> have you ever shaved it off? Yes, I have. I was 12. And then I, I shaved it off? Like a year ago, came right back. Well, duh. It's I'm hairy. Growing. I know. You're cursed. That's. Hey, when you first get it, don't shave it because it just makes it worse. It just makes it grow back faster. So, yeah. So that's look at Kyle's mean. room. Look in the background. I know. <laughs> it's a sexy lady. Okay, guys. So, what does networking provide? Skype, right? Mm -hmm. Anybody know what IRC is? Oh, this is my favorite. You guys probably don't know what this is, but it's for big time people like me. Professionals. It is internet relay chat. Oh, or, yeah. I've heard that. You have? Yeah. You're awesome. I have my own IRC network. Basically, it's, a ne it's basically your own network where you can provide chat rooms to people. It uses, it uses its own protocol. I have to show you to you guys once, one time. It's really, it's, I love it. It's kick ass. I, I know it's old school, but hey. It's still pretty cool because you can chat with anybody and you have full control over it. You get me? Mm -hmm. So, chatting, right? Anybody know email? Who, who has Gmail? I, I love Gmail. How about Yahoo? I know everybody uses like Yahoo. Yeah. Connor, what do you have? Hotmail or something? Yeah. Sexy mail? Yep. Yeah. That's, cool. That's what I'm saying. So, email. I'm I mean, with that. I'm you, can't, you, can't, you can't use Facebook unless you confirm that email, yeah. basically. Email. Social networking. Who gets on Facebook? I don't. I hate Facebook. It's drama. Yeah, you get on Facebook. My God. News. Oh, I want to hear about Barack Obama losing or something. News, right? I didn't say that out loud. Information. Who wants to go on there? Spoiler. Who wants to go on the internet to get to get those answers for that homework test that's so hard, that chemistry test that me and Connor does? Yeah. yeah. Information. Entertainment. Who likes to watch some dubstep or something like that oh. on YouTube? Oh, my God. Yeah. So that, that is what networking brings to the table. It up. Networking, what networking brings to the table is some hardcore stuff, right? Right, Connor? Yeah. I mean, hardcore. if we didn't have networking, we'd be sitting here like dumps off the log and doing 
Jack, you know what? Okay? Guys, stop playing with batteries. That, 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 those, you know. That's oh, old school. Come I on. I like the taste of the acid. You like acid? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. That clear. Switches! Oh, no. Whoa, what is a switch? Oh, it turns on my lights. No. What's a switch, Brandon? Come on, this is easy. It uh, expands your connections. Yeah? It's right here. It's a uh, RDP. Nope. Oh, Yep. We'll, we'll discuss RDP later. And we'll discuss how to see how to see if the schools spy on you. Right, Connor? Uh -huh. Yeah. Switches. Look how many ports this has. I wonder how many can that one has 48 right there. Whoever can tell me how many how many ports are there, how many computers you connect to that overall. I don't know, I don't have a candy bar. But whoever can do that is pretty kick ass. Hold on. Shut up, Connor. Twenty four. Do not 36. count the trunks. Oh. Thirty six. 36 plus 116. Uh, Do not count the trunk connectors, okay? 48. Did you count up each each of these? 36 plus... Each of these has different... 80, 96. <laughs> 124. Are you sure? I don't know. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I didn't have time to count it. But Brandon, good job. It's 96. Give me some 96, skin, man. 96. Come on. There's more than 96? No, that's the two 48 ones. <coughs> okay. Expand your network <laughs> rapidly, right? I mean, a router is only going to give you four ports. Does that expand it rapidly? No. A switch? Brandon texting the one class again, no, aren't you? No, I'm, not, I'm actually not. <laughs> okay. And guess what? Who's heard of a damn hub? Who's heard of hubs? Me. Hubs. Even Eli the computer guys, he says that they are... Shh, you know what I mean, right? Throw them in the trash. You want to know why? You guys want to know why? Hubs are just like switches, except they don't know the source IP address. You guys can write down source IP address, okay? Which means. Good job. <laughs> okay. Okay. Which means hubs, when you send when you send something or receive something, it's a hub. It'll send that packet out on all those ports to all those computers. What will that cause? That will cause collaboration. A bam that'll, that'll eat up your bandwidth, right? That will eat up a lot of unwasted time, right? Yeah. All right, it's 182. Yeah. Your porn will go to all those computers. Okay? Okay, 24 plus 24. <coughs> Guys, you don't have to really count it. Plus okay? 96 plus 24. Try that again. Or are you getting the 48 or something like that? You put what? But, oh, 90? 96 okay. plus 90 Guys. is 100. Sorry, I'm okay. proving him wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you getting the other 90? From counting to counting. Yeah, you don't get another 92. 96. How you get another 90? Oh, I do not my know about this, Okay, look, 48. Uh, look, look, watch. 48 plus 48. Okay, look. 48 plus 48. And then you got... 24 times 3. 12. 3, 6, 7. 72. Okay. Then Brandon. You do 96 plus 72. Brandon, you're pretty good cast, okay, man? I think, I think you proved your point. 68. <laughs> okay. Let's get back to it. Brandon. Brandon. Since you've been running your mouth this whole time, what wire hubs poop? <laughs> because you don't get no privacy. It's... It, and it eats up bandwidth, right? Yes, it eats up bandwidth. I mean, you don't need all that being pushed to all those computers. That just it wait it wastes bandwidth really badly. Okay. And if you well, it doesn't actually just go out and show the website or anything. It's sent via a packet. You gotta know how to sniff and all that. But still, it goes to all the computers. Bad. Boo boo. Throw them away. Hubs were obsolete 15 years ago. So if they're on a network, you're gonna tell that person, hey, hey, um. McDonald's Corporation, get rid of those, you know, get rid of those hubs. They're they're crap. I think you need to get. I think you need to get a Cisco <laughs> switch, right, Connor? <laughs> I have a hub at home. What are you gonna say to me? He's got. He's got one. <laughs> Connor, come on, be serious, man. Come on. I got a hub at home. What are you gonna he's say? Got to me? <laughs> You're gonna say. Switch. Throw that crap in the garbage. Throw it away. Yeah. Good job. 
You're gonna pick up that pencil later on. That was a hub. Okay. <laughs> Connor, <laughs> detention. Uh, yeah. okay. Oh. Let's, okay, let's get back to this. Okay, guys, bring it all in. They come in speeds of 10, 100, or 1,000. Anybody know what 1,000 megabits is? Gigabyte. One gigabit, not gigabyte, Sorry. one gigabit. Bit, not byte. Not bytes. A lowercase b equals bit. Stop throwing stuff, guys. That's all right. A big b does not work. equals byte. You guys might want to write that down, because that, you know. Connor, hold on. What? What do I do? I'm trying to help you out. Just write down, just write down. Low b equals bit. Big b equals a byte, right? Do you really think I should become a teacher and get paid there or something? I don't, yeah. I don't really like teaching now. Dude, for real. Dude, you can become more famous. Hey. <gasps> Sit down. Sit down, man. He's using, he's using a, a pin on that thing right now. Okay. So what speed is the most... Megabit. Most fastest? One thousand. One megabit. One gigabit. Right? Whoa. The 10 megabit, that was obsolete 10 years ago, right? <laughs> you guys want to know what standard is? The standard switches are now 100 slash 1000. That means they can, they can those Good. ports can operate 100 megabits or 1000 megabits. Make sense? Yeah. Good. So if you see a switch that says 10, 100, 1000, what's that mean? That can operate all those, right? Cool. That's all you guys got to know. Write it down, okay? Manage first unmanage. You guys know what that means. Mm -hmm. Do you? Yeah. What's it mean, Connor? It's your dad. They take care of it. When Actually, Connor, I want you to come to the board. I haven't had nobody come to the board today. Okay, you can draw a smiley face when you're done, too. Alright, I'm done. What's manage first unmanage? People take care of it. People take care of it, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, here, I am your student. You're going to teach me what that is. Come on, tell me. I don't know, you're the teacher. <laughs> oh, you're saying I'm a better teacher? Yeah. Smiley face, I like it. Good job. I'm a teacher. You get an A+. Plus. Go sit down. Okay? You're like, that's pretty easy, right? Give me a high five, man. I like people that... Sweet. I like people that stay awake. You know what? If I was actually a teacher, which I probably won't be because, you know, teaching... Ugh, you know? If I was a teacher, I'd throw water at people's faces if they didn't do it right. Let me show this door. Okay. Whoa. Am I a big mouth? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Potty mouth, too. I, I try my best not to be. That's, hey, that, that's why I don't have a degree. It's because, you know, I need to work on my stuff. No, I'm cussing, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm bad influence. Yeah, that, you know, just, you know, home stories. So, Brandon, he, he walked down on us. He's going to have to go to YouTube later. But you, you, you're just like, I don't have the time. I don't have to go to the library. Yeah, let's just move on. You're just like, I'm here. Okay. This is like so cool. <laughs> what? This, this is a fun smart board, guys. Isn't it, Connor? Mm -hmm. Okay. What is managed versus unmanaged? Okay, I'm going to tell you this. Managed means you can actually go into that switch and configure it to your liking. Unmanaged means you just got to hope that works and, you know, yeah, unmanaged basically means you cannot configure any of the settings in the switch. Managed means you can configure settings in the switch. Make sense? So, Connie, you might want to write that down because, I don't know, I might ask it later on. Hey, you can be like, Brandon, I don't know what that means. You don't know what it means. Loser, you're going to be like, you're going to be like, Vic. Manage is basically, you know, I can go and control the settings, man. Unmanage is not. You know? Yeah. Makes sense. Write that down, man. Whiteboard for switches. Okay. So, you guys know what a switch looks like, right? Yep. Looks like that. You have all your ports. And then you have your trunk connectors, right? Okay. Yeah, for, uh, you plug your modem into it, right? So you, so you can have access to the outside world. 
But what else would you need on a network for that network to work? What else would you need, Connor? Uh, a DHCP and NS server. DNS? Yeah. Good job. See, you're you're smart. Smart as hell. I think I want to bump your paycheck up. Actually, if somebody's gonna hire you, you, you gotta know you gotta know your stuff, okay? I mean, if you just be like, if if you just be up there and say that I don't really know, I'm good at firewalls, you know, I'm, I'm, I know IP addresses, I'm good at networking, and you don't actually explain yourself, they're not gonna hire you. They're gonna look at you like a slum. They're gonna be like, go go be in that waste management dumpster, you know? That's what they're gonna say. We're kind of cute, Cole. <laughs> yeah, me and you, we'll. You know your shit. You know your stuff. You can actually explain your stuff. Yeah. You're gonna be in a big desk on a top floor, hot tubs, bikini, bikini woman, anything. You know. You got tons, it, mate. Tons of them, yeah. Yeah. So you'll need a server that runs DHCP and DNS. Most people can have a router that runs this for them. Okay. What if you didn't have that? What if you didn't have a DHCP server and DNS? Well. Do you know what would happen, Connor? What would you have to do? Do you know? You don't know? IDK. IDK, okay. Well, if you didn't have a DHCP server, then that means you'd have to go to each computer and statically assign an IP address to it. You'd have to go into it and configure it to a certain IP address. If you didn't have DNS, you'd have to put in an IP address every time instead of just a domain name like YouTube.com. You'd have to actually type in a domain name in, in an IP address. Make sense? So DHCP, that, it's automatically configuring the IP address connections. DNS, basically, yeah. puts a domain name on it. Tomorrow, we can't come down here. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a meeting down here. Okay. We're going to keep our screen. Yeah, we'll keep it in here. We'll just tell them not to mess with it, right? They won't mess with it. Okay. They did. Mm -hmm. oh, so, right. so, so, like so Connor, since Brandon was out, you want to show them how smart you are? <laughs> uh, show me the smarts. Let's hear it. He pretty much just... Uh... Did you write down manage for something manage? Hey, Connor, what's, what's a manage switch? Hey, manage Connor. Switch. What's a manage switch? You even know this, man. I even know this. I just went over how did it tell us, Brandon? Oh, he's asking you. Did he ask me? No, he did not. What is it, Connor? Let's uh, hear this. Let's have Victor fix it. No, 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 no. Let's, he let's hear it. A managed switch. Hey, hey. It's basically... It's basically a switch where you can go in and configure oh, the settings. <laughs> okay. He looked right. at his shoes. Connor, so it's not this time, <laughs> you might, Connor, this time you might want to write down, man. For sure. What's a man switch? <laughs> no Brandon, <laughs> sit down. Okay, man. Hold up, man switch. Man switch. It is a, um, I don't know. <laughs> Look, you have managed versus unmanaged switches. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to say this one time and one time only, okay, guys? One, two. You got to get a grip. You know? Clear it. Stop. Talking. Grab it, you know? Okay. Explain. Brandon. You ready? I'm waiting. Okay. A managed switch. It means you can go into it and configure the settings for that switch. An unmanaged switch means you just gotta hope that, that works. You can't configure the settings for it. Make sense? Does that guys does, does that make sense, guys? Manage, yes. you can go in, configure the settings for the switch. Like, you know, you can Turn ports on and off, VLAN, all that kind of stuff. We'll get into that later. Unmanaged, you just go, it's auto. You just gotta hope that it works. You can't go in and hard code it or any of that stuff. Okay? Do you like whistles? Connor, not Connor. Brandon, why don't you come up here and sing a song for us? <laughs> or do, do some beatboxing. Can you do that? Do something entertaining. Okay? Ah, uh, put 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 a show on for me. <laughs> since you want to be, a, since you want to have. You know, he, he needs a break. He's been, uh, it's, it's been several. Do you need a shot of vodka? Uh, I think I do. <laughs> he, brought, he brought some to the school. <laughs> okay, do do some entertainment for me. Uh, let me get ready. <laughs> what? 
Alright, um... That's annoying, he's right there. Okay. Professional, do the max. Okay. You gonna do some entertainment, or you want me to okay. wrap this up? How we do more? You said you guys like. Come on, shake that head. Right <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I get my bass going. Booms, booms, booms. You know. Let's all go up here. <laughs> Shake that you now. Yeah, dog. We up in this thing. Yeah. Connor, shake it, man. It's about like that. Okay, guys. See, am, am I a cool teacher? <laughs> yes, you're a very cool teacher. I I, I like to, I like to mix it up a little bit. <laughs> That's hot. Okay, switches. We we basically know about those now, right? This is the last slide we're gonna do for the day, and then we're gonna wrap it up, right? Yep. What are routers? They're just like switches, right, guys? Yeah. Except, what do they have on them, Connor? They have four ports. Four ports. Um. Well, they have a DHCP server and a DN. DNS server? Serious. Yeah, and routers don't, ha and um, switches don't have that, do they? No. no they don't. Switches, they just expand the network. <coughs> they can also act as wireless access points. They can act like those, you know, the Cisco WAPs, right? CDs and antennas? You guys know how routers give you Wi Fi? That's because they also act as wireless access points, right? Some can, okay? Some can also be a modem, like a combo, right? See, when you go back, you, should, you can show Mr. Thor, hey, we've actually been doing a lot of work. See, we get a lot of work done, but we also have some fun, right? As, you guys aren't here half asleep, are you? Yeah. I woke me straight up. Plus if you was asleep, I would be over there. Plus that vodka. Hey, does anybody want a phone? Oh, that's fine. There you go. Wow. You caught that thing. Awesome. You can catch what this mouth wants to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Okay. So, you guys know what a router is, right? Like, when, when you have internet at home, you always talk, oh, the, my, my router is probably broken, or you probably say something like that, you know? That's what a router is, right? It's, it's, it's basically, our, basically routers are, they're switches with services. Do you guys know how many ports a normal router has? Four. Four. And then it has one, which connects to the back of the, which you connect to your modem, right? Which that one port would be called a trunk connector, just like a switch, right? Make it sense? I think it does. By the way, my, my throat's getting a little sore because I talk a lot. I need to start bringing some water. Anybody have anything on them I can drink really quick? <laughs> the rest of the vodka. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Coughs get off. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing I need to know is if I, when I'm up here talking, I need to have something on my throat because, you know, it'll start getting sore. Water's not the best thing to put on your throat. Honey. Honey? It's good for your throat. So you're going to sit up here and watch me drinking honey? Well, uh, you can <laughs> just a teaspoon full. Yeah. So there you have a pretty router. Do you guys know what brand that is? Link. D-Link. D-Link. Have you guys heard of that? I have. No, I have. <laughs> now you have. Right, I think we need to, uh, about a couple minutes left. What time is it? Let me see. It's 2 o'clock. It's 1.59. I think in one minute we can wrap this in. Modems. 
convert data transferred via phone, cable, or fiber data into Ethernet data. This, you guys gotta write this down, because do I ask you guys about modems a lot? I kinda do. You guys notice this, where it says DSL right there? Mm -hmm. And that's a phone line in, right? That's 11. That's an RJ11 port, right? And then, See? Hey, there's another D-Link, except that's just a modem. And then you have, there's a cable modem. Comcast usually gives you that. Or Motorola. That's a modem. That's, that's a Motorola. Good job. Usually have an RJ11 port, which is the phone cable in, right? Now, now RJ11 is used on what kind of modem? DSL. DSL. It's used on a DSL modem. And then you have a coaxial cable, which is used on a cable, like Comcast. Okay? And then you have one Ethernet port, which is an RJ45, right? And that one Ethernet port you put to a switch or a router. Make sense? I think it does. Because if you have a modem that has one Ethernet port on it, that means you only connect one thing. Do you, and a lot of home networks usually have multiple things on, right? Like I have my brother's laptop and Xbox. Do you just want to plug one thing in? No. You get a router for that. But if you was on a business network, you'd probably go with a switch. Yeah. Okay? Transmits analog into digital, then back again, right? Analog is basically, eh, digital is, bah, 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 you know. Analog, analog is consistent, digital is broken up into pieces, which are called what? Packets. So basically, you have those binary bits going through that cable. Beep, 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 you know? So guys, how, I think that basically wraps up our lesson today. Thanks. Does anybody have any questions or concerns or anything to give the big boss? It's a big boss. Who wants... You guys can go up here and entertain me, okay? <laughs> Alright, Connor, you guys come up here. Entertain those fans out there. I don't know how to dance. Hey, right, we're not dancing. Okay, Connor, you know that's the normal bass. Alright, just that's all you gotta do. You just gotta do it loud. <coughs> you don't have to go. You have to go. Just do it like just make sure it's Alright. It's gonna be like a song, alright? Okay. Victor, I'm gonna have you do something. I I'm 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 Getting all the stuff off the thing. Right. Okay, Connor, so you're gonna go.